very fortunate in the greater Boston area to have uh, Kristen Varley there who coordinated yeah! and got started our greater Boston Tea Party. And uh, it takes uh, politics takes uh, certain people who have a lunatic desire to ruin their normal lives and devote themselves totally to a cause. And Kristen Varley is one of those people. Let's give her a warm welcome. So wow, this is absolutely unbelievable. I'm always stunned when I get involved in an event and then other people show up for it. <laughs> I always figured when we, when we first got ready to do our first protest uh, on tax day of 2009, I said, well if all else fails, it'll be myself and about a dozen of my mommy friends from school on the common, we'll head over to Starbucks, we'll have our lattes, we'll bang a couple pans together. And it has just been absolutely heartwarming and inspiring to me every time I come out to see hundreds of people, thousands of people gathered to support ideals that I believe in, that we all believe in, that government has a role and they have overstepped their bounds. So when I got the call today, or got the call to come out today, I was absolutely thrilled. Of all, you see the acorns are now hitting us in the head. <laughs> God, those GD liberals. Oh. I'm sorry, I thought there were kids here, right? So clean it up a little bit. Anyway, it's it's just a real honor for me, and it's not every day that I get to come out in public and introduce a future congressman, the congressman that's going to retire, Barney Frank. in my own opinion <laughs> and I'm hoping to get a job out of it eventually <laughs> something that pays a little more than community organizer the glass ceiling on that one's pretty high it's community organizer straight to president and... so this is a really big day for Sean to have people ordinary people ordinary voters citizens coming out to show their support for him right here in the heart of the district while just down the road we have Bill Clinton stopping the party thing. People who are determined to hold on to their power, to have their stranglehold over us, our families, our businesses, our states and our towns, no matter what the cost, no matter what they must do. We are not going to be silent any longer. an era of financial destruction and we are here to spring in a new era of American revival so we are here today as Republicans Democrats independents Tea Party activists Patriots all Americans, yeah. Americans exactly to make history we made history in January. We are leading the nation in this movement to take back our government. And we will do it again right here in Massachusetts where our nation was born. Yeah. Citizens are awakened. They are taking to the streets. We recognize that we have leadership, rather, now, finally, that recognizes our intrinsic desire to be free. Yeah. That yeah. recognizes that we excel when we can support ourselves, take care of ourselves, and follow our dreams. Yeah. Yeah. And most importantly, well, it's been like that. <laughs> leadership that recognizes government works for us, not us working for them. And we have seen great examples of that today. And now we have Sean Bielet. Sean is a Marine. Yeah. I love that. I had to lead with that. As someone who's got a Marine in my family, I'm partial. He understands discipline, hard work, and the values of honor, courage, and commitment. Yeah. Sean is a businessman, 
he has helped create jobs. As a consultant, he has advised companies on how to succeed. And Sean is a husband and now a father. So just like us, he wants his newborn son to inherit a free and a strong America. Sean is a good man. He is exactly the kind of person with the right experience we need in Washington, D.C. So please join me in welcoming the next congressman from the 4th District in Massachusetts, Sean. 